We are back on Nittany Game Week. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to increase my football IQ. Northwestern comes to Beaver Stadium. Huge underdogs in this matchup. They've been very generous in their first four games, giving the ball to their opponents. Coach Paterno, Coach Bradley, if they are able to hold on to the ball and keep the turnovers at least balanced, Coach Fitzgerald and his guys can cause some problems. Yeah, you know, Todd, sometimes you look at a team and you say they're one and three and they deserve to be one and three. This is a team that does not deserve to be one and three because of turnover. So let's talk a little bit about what they do offensively. First, they have a veteran offensive line, Tom, a really good power run game. Talk about this, this blocking scheme here. Well, it's just, it's just a power counterplay depending on how they read the outside guy. If, he, if this guy crashes down, then they'll log it, run around him. If not, they'll kick it out and bring it up through. Yeah, as we watch the video, look at number 77 come down and just wall off that linebacker. He is a big-time offensive lineman. So Saturday afternoon, if you want to watch a guy that really knows how to play O-line, he's there. But at the end of the play, you see one of the problems that has been there for Northwestern. Good 15, 20-yard run. At the end of the play, they give the ball up. They've given up seven turnovers, minus five in a year. They can't do that. Let's go now to some of the things they do in the pass game. Evan Hall, 26. If you love football, watch this kid play. He's their leading rusher, leading receiver, smart as a whip, lines up all over the place. Tom, this is a problem matchup-wise when you start trying to figure out who's going to take who. It's a problem because he's everywhere. You're not sure how you're going to match him up and who's going to match up on him. Yep. And he's comfortable playing at the one, two, and three positions yep. being a receiver. So let's take a look at him here on this one. Again, he's lined up. There's a safety or a linebacker covering him. And, and the thing about it is if you want to walk out and cover him, look at it, and he does a nice job on the route, you got to figure out how you're going to play him. You can't go to nickel because he can run the ball. So let's talk a little about their defense now. They, are, they do like, they've got a new defense coordinator for the last two years, like some of the overload blitzes that you see in the pros when you were coaching, Tom. Here they show a six-man blitz, and they bring four to a side. And then what they do when they bring the four, if you notice behind, it's a soft two shell behind it. It's not a real hard two shell, it's just a soft two yep. shell with only one guy in the middle and the two guys playing deep halves. Yep. And it's just, they want that ball coming out quick and they're going to yep. tackle it. Let's take a look at the video. Again, it looks like they're man to man. They back out of there all of a sudden now. You've got two deep quarterback, doesn't know where to go with the ball. Let's talk now about, about their third downs, their solid third down defense. They are not afraid to match up. They break up a lot of passes, and they'll spy your quarterback, which I will imagine you'll see with Sean Clifford. Let's take a look. You'll see that middle linebacker now is sitting there reading the quarterback, reading the short routes. Penn State likes the crossing routes, and, so I'd imagine you'll get he, that. Plus, he helps you on the scramble a little bit. He's like, they call that little rat coverage in there. Yep. He's just looking around trying to see what he can do. Yeah, so let's take a look now at some Penn State stuff. The play action pass on first down has been really good. The hard run fake because the run game has been effective. Both linebackers come down here. This guy gets over the top. This works out great because of what you just said, the run game. Yep, let's they take a look at the, the video on this one. Watch both linebackers come downhill in a hurry. Your backside wideout gets over the top, and that's where they're getting some of their big plays in the pass game. Let's talk about now in a week where you have a big a game like we just did, Coaches want to coach hard. They want to correct mistakes when the players think about it. The launch point continues to be an area of concern for Penn State. Here's a four-man rush of the first 27 passes, 14 of them. Let's take a look at the video. 14 of them, uh, Sean Clifford was flushed or sacked or had to run out of there and throw the ball on the run and took a lot of hits. Last thing we want to talk about as we go is on the defensive side, Tom, you love the stack when you were coaching defensive backs. <laughs> I do not like the stack. First of all, it, there's, here comes the motion. Communication is the key yep. thing. That's the one thing you have to have. If you're going to be good, you've got to communicate to each other, and that's what causes some of the problems here, and also your leverage. Yeah, and you'll see on the video, trying to sort these guys out, John Sutherland is, is, is in position, and all of a sudden there's all this traffic, can't get through there. Ends up with a touchdown. And hopefully, you know, when you look at Saturday, Penn State's able to correct some of the little things. And again, they're you know, 4 0, no, so they're little things. But, you know, that's what makes a difference when you're going to go down the stretch. Todd, back over to you. All right, thanks, fellas. Ready for Big Ten play, that's for sure. Well, that was quick. Expanded alcohol sales approved on a Friday by the Board of Trustees. Beer available at Beaver Stadium. 
eight days later. New policy kicks in this weekend against Northwestern. It's available in the stadium in all areas except near the student section. Two 16-ounce beers maximum per purchase. Sales conclude at the end of the third quarter. Now at halftime of the Central Michigan game, the sidelines are full of national champions. 40th reunion for the 1982 Penn State team. This is a team that faced a gauntlet of a schedule to win it all. They beat five teams ranked in the top 15 that season. They try to bring the guys back every five years. A special chance for teammates to get together and reminisce. It brings back a ton of memories anytime they walk onto the field in Happy Valley. Four months after we have the last one, we're like, hey, when can we have the next one? Because you have so many bonds and so many great memories that it just makes everything worth it. A very, very tight-knit group. Um, maybe not as talented as some other teams, it's even 81 the year before that. But we, we're all rowing in the same direction. And it, it, you need to for a 12-game season. It come in hell or high water, and we did do that. Yeah, they beat Nebraska, West Virginia, Pitt, Notre Dame, and Georgia all in the same season. Our impact interview is next. You want to know something about Northwestern? We go straight to the top. The Wildcats head coach, Pat Fitzgerald, joins us. We'll try to get some game day secrets from him. I doubt he budges, but it will be entertaining for sure. Nindy Game Week returns after this.